Hey guys, it's Nicole, and, um, you know how I told you I'm interested in space, in celestial objects, celestial events, and everything space-related, astronomy? You know how I told you that? Well, so I'm going to do another one of those vlogs. So, today, I am going to talk about common Ison again. Because in two days, on Thanksgiving Day, unless you're watching this at later on, like, then it may not be two days, but on Thanksgiving Day, I'll just say that, so on Thanksgiving Day, I guess that Comet Ison will be making its, I don't guess, I know, Comet Ison will be making its close approach um, to the sun, it will be going through perihelion, 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 there we go, that is a big word, okay, so it's going to be making perihelion, and it will be going around the sun, because comet Ison is a sun grazing comet, we know that, so if it's going to make a pass around the sun, it's a sun grazing comet, so, as it makes its close approach to the sun, there is the potential one of two things could happen. One, it could make it safely past the sun, and then in that case, it will be making a close approach to Earth intact. And I will talk more about that later in this vlog. The other thing that could potentially happen to common ice and as it makes its path across the sun, path across the sun, um, its path, I guess it could actually, like, you know, the sun is very hot, and this comet's really icy, but it's also moving really fast, and when it goes to the sun, there is the potential that if it makes it too close or smacks into the sun or something, it could have an explosion. So, here comes the comet around the sun and it's like, <laughs> so it turns into this big explosion. And that could happen too. And when, and it, let's say this big explosion happened, this big, huge comet's gonna be breaking up into all these pieces and it's gonna be right by the sun, and the sun's gonna be like, <laughs> You know, the sun shoots off rays of heat. So, then this comet's going to be hit by these rays of heat. And and, and, and there's no telling what the trajectory is going to be at this point. These little pieces of, some of them may be big pieces, big chunks of comet are, are flying out of the sun. And they're hot because they just hit the sun and they're in the sun's atmosphere. They're really hot. They're flaming and they're coming all all different ways in there and they're gonna have the potential to hit Earth. Now, where? We don't know. It just depends on where they get thrown. I mean there is the chance that they could just wind up in the ocean. There is a lot of a lot of the earth is covered by ocean water, body of water. So they could fall on water and that would be that would be fine. But they also could hit things and they can, they wouldn't be so hot that they can melt things. It's just, it's just going to be on this flaming comet pieces. So that may not, we may get some like sky fireworks, I guess you'd say, on Thanksgiving Day if that happens. Now, the other thing that could happen is say it does make it safely past the sun. Um, then what we're going to have is it's going to be making its close approach. And it's going to be a spectacular, spectacular view if it does do this. And it will be making its close approach to Earth. And what the outlook of that looks like is I have this little, I don't know if it will show up on here, but I have a little map. You can kind of see, but you can't really see very well because uh, there's like a glare. But... Um, it'll be brightest when lowest, and that will be December 1st, and, um, it'll be right kind of by Mercury, 
and the moon in that area, like right below Mercury and the moon. Um, so it's going to be pretty low, a little bit below Mercury and a lot below the moon because Mercury is below the moon. So, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty low and you will be able to see that, um, like in the early morning sky because it'll just be getting light and then the like more time goes on because it, see it's going to be visible all through the 17th so December 5th it'll be just before sunrise and then um it'll be kind of right even with the moon almost and then December 8th it's going to start getting December 9th it's going to be in the middle of the night um into the early morning, December 13th, same, but it'll just be keep getting higher and higher. So then, as December 17th is going to be the last day that you can really see this thing, um, we call Comet Edison, and it's going to be at the darkest point it'll be visible at, and um, it'll be right in the, right by the Big Dipper area. Um, and so, yeah, you can see this comet Ison if it makes its path through the sun's perihelion on Thanksgiving Day. So we'll just see which one of these two things happen. Will the will it survive the sun? Will it make its close approach? Time will only tell. So just keep your eyes in the skies, and yeah, comet Ison. And, yeah, so, hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving full of comet ice and watching. Or, I guess you can't watch it when it's at the sun because look at her tries. But, just watch the news. Watch all the details on comet ice and unfold. And, keep your eyes on the skies. Love you all. Bye.